So I'm not really going to be filming myself. I'm just coming on really quick to just let you know that I'm going to show you how I make my seafood boil. This one I'm going to do in a bag. I've never did one in a bag, but me and my husband went and ate at a restaurant. And I'm going to try to remember the name of it and put it like up here so that you guys can know the name of the restaurant. But we ate there, and that was our first time, or my first time, and I think my husband's as well, having a seafood in a boil, in a bag, <laughs> seafood boil in a bag. And so what I decided was for my first seafood boil on my channel that I would do it in a bag. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to go ahead and get everything prepped and start it so that we can do our seafood mug bang our first one together so i hope you guys really enjoyed the video and i will see you guys when we start eating bye <laughs> okay so what i decided to do is mussels i will be doing extra sweet corn on the cob and i'll just do two of those i'm not going to do all four and then i have some andouille sausage this is the Cajun style smoked sausage. So we'll do those. We have our red potatoes. I'm going to do four of those. I have a lemon that I'm going to use. We have two lobster tail. And I got these wild Texas shrimp. They are wild caught so that's really why I got them. I try to I try to choose everything that's wild caught because I don't like to get anything that's GMO if I can help it. So, and then here I have my seasonings. So I will be using the Louisiana Crystal Hot Sauce, the Creole seasoning, some minced garlic, The Zataran Shrimp and Crab Boil. This is the liquid. Some Crawfish Shrimp and Crab Boil. This is seasoning mix as well. And then my old favorite is Old Bay Seasoning. And that is what I'll be using as well. And then I will be using two sticks of butter. And I didn't take those out. I forgot. But um, two sticks of butter as well. So this is what I will be using to make my seafood boil in a bag. Alright guys, so let's get started. Okay, so I have my bowl here and I'm going to use this to brace my bag. And I'll probably end up double bagging it just to be certain that it doesn't leak or anything. But anywho, let's go ahead and get started. So. What I'm going to do first is um, go ahead and I'm going to move this bowl down. My potato, I'm just going to cut off some of this little funky looking stuff off of it. Now at least kind of stuff here. I'm just going to cut that stuff off of there. It's just what they call the eye of the potato, like where it's starting to bud. So that's all it is, and I'm just going to cut those little pieces off. And to keep from ruining my potato, I like to do mine with the... Um, pointy part of my knife just so that I'm only removing that little piece. And I did want to do um, crab legs as well, but crab legs are really difficult to come by around here. If you get them, they're typically frozen, they're really tiny, and I love crab legs too much to do that to myself. So. I just choose not to do crab legs without um, without having some good ones. So that's kind of where I am with the crab leg situation. I will do a crab leg, snow crab leg boil, but um, I just want to be sure that when I do it, I have some 
decent sized legs or else it's disappointing to me. <laughs> me and my, um, one of my friends back in the day, we were both pregnant at the same time and we used to go to the um, Chinese restaurant. They had snow crab legs on their menu. And we used to go there and literally, we probably ate there about at least once a week. I won't say more than that for the sake of I'm not certain, but it was at least once a week we would meet there and we would just eat crab legs. And so, of course, my youngest daughter loves crab legs. Okay, so I just rinsed those off and I'm going to drop those inside of, I think I'm going to cut them. Let's cut them. So my oven is just now preheated to 350 degrees. So we're getting ready for, so my oven's prepared for the food. going to do four sausage. So there's my bowl thus far. I will only do two pieces of corn because even if I have some left over, I thought about it, my daughter can't eat it. Oops because she wears braces, so she does not eat corn on the cob. It has to be off the cob for her. So we have two pieces of corn in there. This is my lobster and shrimp that I had to defrost, so we're gonna add the shrimp. I've already rinsed everything off. And we typically do our seafood boils in a pot, but like I said, me and my husband ate at a restaurant <laughs> when we were down in Atlanta, and they had, um, they brought us our seafood out in a um, bag. And so ever since then, he and I both have been saying that, you know, we were going to, that we liked it. And that, well, I said I was going to try it, to try to make it in the uh, bag, but he liked it in the bag. So I knew it would be something that we would try again. There's my lobster tail, and I'm just kind of splitting that shell open so that it will be accessible once it's done. I thought my kitchen shears were going to be too dull, but they must still be sharp enough for this. Okay, and be sure you're washing your hands when you're handling seafood. Okay, next I'll do my, on my, <laughs> my onion, Oop. I'll do my lemon. So we're going to kind of roll it a little bit. And so that you guys know, because you won't really see me using a lot of lemon in my seafood, is I do not really care for the lemon flavor in seafood, but I think a little bit is okay. Like I do, I do think a little bit adds something to it. So all I'm going to do is just put 
half a lemon in there. And we'll save this other half. I may use it on my face or something. <laughs> Anywho. Next, I am going to use these mussels first because I didn't show you these, but these are some that I had left over from when I went to Aldi. So actually, I'm going to use these first. this one bad work. We're going to try to make one bad work. Let's hope so. seafood boil. It's crab and shrimp boil, but seafood boil, I don't know. I'm going to put in about a cap full of this. Okay, and now I'm going to add in my Creole seasoning. That'll be about two tablespoons of that. We're going to add in some of this Louisiana crystal hot sauce and I'll probably just do about a tablespoon of this just because when we were um, at the one in Atlanta they it was a we got the spicy boil and it was a little too spicy for me. We did eat it, but it was a little too spicy. So I'm going to do two tablespoons of minced garlic. I'm 
Let's say three tablespoons. <laughs> you guys know I love garlic. Next, we're going to add in some of this the crawfish shrimp crab oil seasoning. And I'm going to put about half the bag of this in there. And then, see how much we have. <laughs> I'm going to put in... Stick of butter. I said two sticks. I'm sitting here debating now if I want to do two sticks. I think I'm going to do two sticks of butter. Go ahead, say it, say it, say it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I love butter. And if I was just going to be dipping, I would use one stick of butter. So why not use two sticks since I'm not dipping, technically. So yeah, that's my rationale for my two sticks of butter. So anywho, let's get this bag up and then we'll get ready to put it in the oven. So give me just a second. into a an epic mess. So we're gonna double bag it. And this is like I told you guys, my first time doing it this way. And so my seasonings, I'll let you guys know what I think about it once it's done. But I'm just kind of making this up, guys, as I go. <laughs> I mean, normally I would use my Obey and I would use a boil mix like this. And the crab boil, the liquid. Um, so those are the seasonings that I would typically use anyway. So I just figure it should be okay to use those in the bag. So we'll see. <laughs> it smells delicious. I know you can't go wrong with Old Bay. Okay, so I'm tying the first bag. And now the second bag. And I'm going to put it in the oven for about 30 minutes. And we'll be ready to eat. So here's our bag. two bags but I didn't really want to just because I didn't want to have two separate bags and I think once it cooks down it'll it'll be fine. Alright so that's 
the way our bag looks. Yes! So this thing just popped loose. No, I think this is just an extra piece on there. So we'll tie it here. So I'm hoping that I can get the flavor pretty much um, similar to the one in which me and my husband had in Atlanta. And if so, perfect, 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 because he'll love it. But for this one, it's just for me and maybe my daughter because he's out of town working. So, yeah, we're going to be eating this. She'll get whatever I don't finish, I guess. <laughs> so, that's what we're working with, guys. Now, let me get my pan. That's the pan that I'm going to put it on. We're going to put this in the oven, 350 degrees, for about 30 minutes. So I'll see you guys when it's 